Good afternoon. Blimey. I'm, uh, I need to relax. I have become frustrated <laughs> this afternoon, so this is a good opportunity for me to chill out and just talk shite to myself. Uh, got a thing um, commissioned to purchase from a friend <laughs> through a friend uh, from a charity shop um, uh, of a Game Boy Color with two games uh, so I'm going to give it a white got the greasy screen um, so how did it come? Let's let's present it as I saw it. He sent me a picture the other day of oh this was in a charity shop near me where he lives. Yeah. Basically. Like that. Game Boy Color in two games. Uh, an okay price, you know, um, about what I'd expect to pay for a Game Boy Color. Couple extra games, charity shop. What's not to like? Cancer research as well, so not a faith-based organisation. Don't think. Um, not that I would, you know. Well, I, I might not give my money to a faith-based organisation. Anyway, um, getting contentious there. It's a wee shame it's got a missing bum flap, uh, but <laughs> it's really nice that it has Hayley Cunningham's name on it. So, Hayley Cunningham, wherever you are, I have your Game Boy. Fuck you. <laughs> um, this is really just sort of auto therapy for me. Um, Uh, and the games are Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which I booted up very briefly yesterday when my friend came to drop this off to me. Uh, he was in the area anyway um, for a flat viewing, so I understand it wasn't too out of his way to get this for me. And I give him a drink and I'll buy him another sometime. Yeah, booted this up and very quickly, Jesus, it had a lot of dialogue for a Game Boy Color game just to tap through very quickly. Now this one, this uh, isn't counterfeit, it's got the imprint, so does this one, good condition actually, but A couple things with these, I feel like they're awfully see-through at the top. Um, are there not normally, is there not normally more going on up there in Game Boy Color cartridges? I think there are usually is. Um, I don't think this uh, points them out as fakes. As I say, they've got the imprint on them and Yeah, that's just a, it seems like, I only say fakes because it's a funny coincidence that you get two missing bits at the top, or just with, you know, smaller chips, I suppose, really is all it is. Um, but yeah, maybe that's for Game Boy Color games with batter, with uh, like certain save file things, batteries. I know Pokemon Crystal definitely has stuff up at the top there, because you can, I'm pretty sure, anyway. So, I guess the, yeah, I don't know. The other thing about this is the label is practically unreadable. So I've got NYR, New York Race, and I can read what all of the publishers and licensors and that sort of thing want to do. Gaumont, just about, Callisto, 
But this small piece of writing above the logo, which you definitely can't read because of the focus, but I can't read either. It says inspired by the the fifth element. Inspired by the fifth element, I think is what it says. Is that a film? I don't know, I'm kind of ignorant of these things. 2001 Gaumont stroke one or two edition. Uh, do we find out? Oh. Yoddy, yoddy. So quiet. I think this. The volume thing seemed a bit weird to me yesterday. Mot de passe, have I accidentally started it in French. Word of pass. Let's see. Let's see the startup screen, you still want to see. KRKs and the reflection. Yeah, Fran French comes up first. NYR, New York race, good. Password, there it says. The slums. I'm gonna get my other Game Boy to see about this speaker. batteries. Right, so both turned up full. It's nice to have two Game Boy Colors, though. Uh, yeah, I'll need to get... I thought this was blue. Is it purple? Colorblind. Um, oh, I just had a... I just remembered. I always remember playing all my games on this. Oh, yes, now I'm getting, oh, it's all coming back. <laughs> I had one of these, which I, I knew fine well. But a friend of mine, A, we'll call her, had a Game Boy like this. Maybe more people I knew did as well. So I kind of remember playing Pokemon Yellow, which I didn't have when I was super young, on this. Maybe I borrowed her Game Boy. Maybe I borrowed it to trade with myself. And that weirdly makes the memories associated with this even more vivid. So I remember playing Pokemon Red and Blue and Gold on it. Mmm. It's lovely when when I get that, you know, playing the right game on the right machine. That's nice. Um, right, let's, let's see. So. Nah, they're the same. Okay, that's good. So, this is not too quiet. The Game Boy Color is just very fucking quiet. Ba ding Really quiet. 
maybe you can clean these things out a little bit. Now I'm going to take the batteries out of this because, yes. Yeah, it's really light when you take everything out of it. Just this felt so much heavier before. Gold is, a, yeah, it's a lot, much heavier cartridge. It's got the battery in it. Oh, balls, what have I done? Um, much heavier cartridge and these batteries are, um, I think, heavier as well. Yeah, quite a bit heavier. So, um, funny how insubstantial a thing this feels without that extra weight. Um, anyway, so that's basically all. I've got two games which I don't really care about, but they're Game Boy games, so I don't say no to them. Um, and a Game Boy Color, which seemed superfluous. I, you know, collecting, I'm more interested, I think, really in having a variety of DMG Game Boys than these, because their colours just seem more vibrant because of how big, much bigger they are. But, um, but this is nice, actually, to have. Um, and it's interesting that it kind of triggers more vivid recollections from this, just by contrast. So that's nice. Uh, yeah, I've kind of gotten into the whole getting the extra colours of things when it comes to controllers. I would like the main colours of controllers for the N64, for example, and I guess GameCube would be cool as well. Uh, those are the main consoles really, aren't they? Uh, yeah, and a variety of Game Boys. Classic collector shit. So, oh, that'll do for now. I've cooled off. I have an hour before doing a bit more work. Ah, that'll do. Cheers.